everyone, today we talk about the most difficult finger on the harp. The fourth finger is annoying. It's linked with the fifth finger, which we don't use. It's hard and people feel uncomfortable. And they don't know what to do with this little finger. Well, my rule is these two fingers are in love. So they go together all the time. <laughs> For me, the important thing is that the little finger never goes up. Sometimes I do have it up and I'm very ashamed of it. It shouldn't. I try to relax all the fingers. Then I open the finger and check that this finger is not tense here. The fourth finger is not the hardest finger on the harp. The third finger is annoying, is obnoxious, is uncomfortable. But if you look at the hand, all these fingers, they close in the same way, so it's fine. So the real problem, it's him, the thumb. The problem with the thumb is that it doesn't sound like the other fingers. We have to look for the exact sound, exact timbre that the other fingers have. My suggestion is to put it here not there, not like this, not like that. I see so many thumbs which are low in the strings and people play like this. Sure, you can play like that, but you'll never be able to go fast. And also you won't have the power of a big sound. So the thumb has to cut one third of the flesh. See, if I turn my finger, it's there. And then it has to pluck the string and rest. after that you bend the string boom, your job is done you have to relax it when you have your fingerings that the thumb has to go higher up then you have to try use this bouncing to go up where you have to go or whatever you have to do and not wasting time to go down and then up again anyway the thumb has to be straight up why? Because then when you have to play scales, which is a really high percentage of the music you have to play, you have the space to turn. If you have your thumb too low, how can you do that? Put it up and rest. So do a scale only with thumbs up, up, up. <laughs> I forgot, I put this string down because it's going to break. I have to change it. It sounds funny though. Whoa. Contemporary music. <laughs> anyway, for the left hand is exactly the same. One third of the flesh in and then pluck. Relax. Pluck and relax. <laughs> I love this sound. <laughs> As for the sound quality, listen. Always listen and modify your position if needed during speed or during chords, big arpeggio. You have to get the same sound for every finger. That's the point. I want you to play scales just with your thumb up and down, up and down and fast. They have to be flexible. They have to go and they have to sound like this. So other fingers, all fingers, they have to sound equal. And to be honest, the thumb is the most annoying, annoying finger for me. I don't know for you. Let me know what you think. I hope this video was helpful to you. Ciao. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know and I hope this video was... Bleh. <laughs>